So, hi everyone. Welcome to Zero Point. This is a new show I'm going to be doing with my wonderful colleague and new friend Nina Morocco from Scotland. She's a fellow practitioner. My name is Hara Katsiki for whoever doesn't know me. And uh, this is something that just came up very magnetic and spontaneous. Uh, it was a mutual uh, respect, appreciation and uh, and love, I guess, uh, from the first moment we kind of saw each other and we decided to come together and share from the heart um, our thoughts, our experiences, our knowledge and anything else that, that shows up. So welcome, Nina. I'm so excited. I'm so happy that we're doing this together. Thank you. I'm so excited too. Thank you for feeling the same way as I did about wanting to come together. and. Yeah, it was it was beautiful how we connected and it was just a really strong pull to just be more connected and explore that. Um and maybe that's what this is about. Maybe it's about um just that 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 connection and that collaboration of energies and the, the alchemy that comes from that. Um and yeah, zero point. There's no particular point to this other than just coming together and seeing what wants to come through um, and speaking from that heart space. And yeah. Yeah, so we have been giving it a lot of thought uh, about what, what should we talk about? And honestly, <laughs> this is nothing really specific, right? It was just let's just connect let's just be in the moment and the present moment and allow whatever needs to come through and perhaps that might be what resonates the most because it will be spontaneous and it will be um yeah it will uh, it will be what needs to come through so it's yeah. exciting it's scary but uh, we said okay let's just press record and let's just flow <laughs> what what kind of things do you feel are coming up most? Like, I wasn't sure whether to make this or to bring through the collective energy or, or through our personal experiences. I guess they're all connected because we're all going through similar things. But um, what's coming up for you? What's, what are you feeling at the moment? At the moment, I'm feeling an incredible electric energy, which comes, I think it's, um, it comes from without and from within. I'm feeling an electric energy from our, uh, our collective. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's I'm, I'm, I'm sensing it's a combination. It's a combination of, first of all, the time we are right now in terms of season, right? The mm -hmm. explosion that always, it every always in, in spring for me, it's always like, I knew it's like a rebirth. I'm feeling it so strongly. And I, even maybe it's the strongest for me um, kick in terms of how nature affects us. Even though I'm in the city, even though I'm living in the city, I'm just feeling this electric explosion of, of energy, this new, this, this rebirth, this um, opening, opening up. And, of, and, it's, and it lines up with what's happening also like uh, with um, our society which opened up from the, all the lockdowns and all these things and, and I'm feeling this electric energy and I also know that uh, we are now, we just, um, we just had a new moon and there's a lot of uh, fire energy and air energy that is, um, that is coming and is, <clears throat> I'm feeling that it might be even a little bit Hmm, bumpy in a way because it brings fire and air, brings it can, it can potentially bring this aggressive energy, which doesn't necessarily need to be negative, but it can be, right? Aggressive yeah. is energy, strong energy, depends how you use it. So I'm a little bit, <laughs> like we were saying before we even started, I was telling you, I'm, I'm a little bit like, oh, okay, it's a lot of energy. I have to learn how to harness this now and before I um, continue um, talking and uh, not, I have to put an end. <laughs> and um, I also want to say, I'm feeling a lot of, 
manifestation uh, that is really uh, ramping up, that is really like um, uh, amplifying. Like I'm feeling that whatever I put my focus on, it's the manifestation is like instant. It's if scary. It's, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I've been noticing that recently as well. Um, I've been noticing similar, I, I, I kind of, I can't ground enough. I can't seem to, like, every time I catch myself ungrounded, I'm like, what else can I do? <laughs> like, what else can I, because, um, yeah, there, there is just is so much energy going on, and there's, there's so many themes and layers coming up, and I keep having to check myself as well. Past two mornings I've woken up just kind of in a, ah, because I've just sort of felt, you know, being a single mom and having the pets and the little one and she's been off nursery for a couple of days. So she's, everybody's here and everybody needs something from me. <laughs> I've just kind of been in a state of just sort yourselves <laughs> <laughs> but then I've had to sort of really sort of check myself and go, wait, all of these beings depend on you and they need you to be in a good space to be able to, <laughs> to care for them properly. And yeah, there's been like this ego heart battle that's been <laughs> really ramping up over the past few days um, where I've been really frazzled in the morning, but it sort of changes by that the afternoon that kind of I go over this hump and then I I, I ground and I, I settle myself and I really sort of check in with my heart and just yeah it, it's it's tough being in this situation but at the same time I just have to remember that I ch I've chosen everything here in this yeah. life that I've created for myself I'm doing this I am creating the mood that I'm in and this is the first thing in the morning it's not them it's not <laughs> it's not the dog because he because he wants something and it's gone over the time he usually gets it yeah. it's me it's I'm creating all of that and it's like I have to get over that hump before I can sort of go okay actually no it's fine it's okay it's just me um this is so interesting. This is incredible. It blows my mind because I have been having the same thoughts lately. You know, I'm waking up in the morning. That's very interesting. It's so interesting. And I think we maybe we could go dive deeper to see where does that come from? Maybe there's something yes. there because if we both feel the same way, that's, the, that's incredible. So me too, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> I catch myself in the morning and like you said, waking up and say, <clears throat> oh, I I don't have kids, but I have a, I have a cat. I have a, I have a partner. I have hundreds of plants, like forty plants in the house, and they need attention, you know. Like, and I'm thinking like, oh, I you know I I'm I'm feeling this this what you said. It's like okay, my resp the responsibility I have towards all these living beings. I'm I'm coexisting with them in this house, and I need to take care of them. I even catch myself having these thoughts of like looking at my my cat. And thinking, having just like an hope heart opening and looking at her and thinking, if if I don't give her food, if I don't take care of her, she will not. Yeah, she will not exist. I am the I'm responsible for for her life, and it just may it this this created so much compassion instantly, and then I was like. What am I thinking? Well, this is like, this is something that is such a basic thing, but you don't even really sometimes even just question it, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, it's interesting. It's, <laughs> I even get that with, you know, my work as well. I, you know, responding to emails and things like that. It's like, again, that feeling of people needing something from me and <laughs> wanting something from me. You know, it's what it's, it's my job. I love it. I love what I do. But there's this energy of, I don't know if it's just overprotectiveness of my energy field or if it's just my ego <laughs> throwing a hissy fit or, or what it is. But 
yeah, it's it's the morning. There seems to be all these feelings of back off. Everything needs to back off so I can <laughs> center myself. It's, you yeah. know what I'm thinking? No, what I'm thinking, I'm feeling, I think it comes intuitively, as you say, you know, because as we shared this, I'm thinking, where does this come from? What I'm receiving, and tell me how you feel about it. What I'm receiving is that maybe it's because we are moving towards the, the group consciousness, I'm getting goosebumps, which makes us even more sensitive to our relation to our to those around us. To those around us. Yeah, to those in our field. You know, there's, there's more connection, there's stronger connection. There's not emerged yet, but... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I guess that's the unknown, because we, we've not lived like that before. We've not lived so deeply connected to... To, to you know, to everyone and everything around us. There's we've been we've been in separation for so long. Yes. There's like this adjustment period, where, yes. whereas we are interconnecting and reconnecting and remembering, we have to adjust to that. And maybe you're maybe that's absolutely right. Maybe that's exactly what's happening we're we're adjusting to this kind of new state of of cohabitation <laughs> within you know our collective field yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes I, 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 that's, i'm feeling this strong, more and more um strongly as as we are you know as we are putting up it on the table and looking at it and what is it where does it come from and um, it becomes more and more clear now that it's this moving into this group consciousness and like you said we need to adjust and what happens as a first step is this okay I mean we are a service to others both of us but still you know we were um, also acting from our ego not necessarily harming others but you know still <clears throat> now there's this yeah, yeah opening up to, ah, no, I don't think only for myself what is best for me, but also what is best for the collective. Yeah. And feeling the collective and reflecting, even unconsciously, even <clears throat> possibly even unconsciously. Yeah. yeah. Because come on, what is, what is the shift? What is this essential? It is about unity, no? It's about like coming together and and um, co-creating. To face it, facing the, the, the shadow as well, facing our, our shadows and actually, instead of brushing it all aside, looking at it, looking at, you know, and I think <clears throat> it's very clear with what's being displayed in our world at the moment. There's a lot of themes that are coming up that that need to be looked at that are being sort of more um displayed in that in that public space um and through that i think there's timelines opening up we could we could latch on to whichever ones we want at the moment because there is so much being put out there for us to look at um I don't know if it's intentional or not, but there's um, if, if you like, even if you look at this legal trial that's going on with Johnny Depp and his ex-wife. On the surface, it's you know celebrity stuff, but actually, when you look at the themes that are being pulled out of this, the the, the drug use, the childhood abuse, the the relationship dynamics. Um, these themes seem to be bringing up so much for all of us because there's, I mean, there's so such common themes within everyone's lives, you know, everybody's been affected by these things, but I think it's the way that all of these things are being displayed so openly that it's allowing people to, you know, there's a choice point, either you judge that person and don't look at your own stuff 
or you you listen to the point where you can relate that to your own experience in your own life and um i think it's a really good opportunity to allow ourselves to tap into those those parts of ourselves that we maybe don't look at um or we don't want to look at um or we don't want to yeah the shadows the 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 shadows within ourselves um i think it's an opportunity for us all to do that um so yeah normally i wouldn't wouldn't really pay attention to anything like that but there's some been something about this specific situation of what's being displayed right now that i've been called to sort of observe it not really get invested in it or absorbed in it but really observe the themes that are coming up initially it was for the case study professional aspect of it but there's um it surprised me that there's something deeper going on um it's opening up an opportunity for us to to go deeper within ourselves so yeah i thought i'd share that because i thought it's you know, I, I don't know when this is going to be aired, but just right now, this is kind of the things that I'm seeing and sensing through through what we're being shown. Um, yeah, and it's, I, 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 from from my personal experience, my relationship with my own self, I see that my shadows are really popping out more clearly now. It, yeah. it might be in your face, like I, I you know, I'm really uh, becoming very conscious and aware of even little things, you know, that uh, I could do better. That's yeah, the it's like the, the conscience is <laughs> active, right? <Yeah. laughs> it's showing us, and it's a vibrational thing, it's the kind of goes back to when we initially connected with the the, the integrity round table mm. the vibration in your body when you're when you're acting within those more, you know darker parts of yourself you, you can feel it um, and most of the time we're called to just <clears throat> we're just so conditioned to just move on and not really look into what that's about and, and I think this is really a time where we need to take that time to stop and, and instead of rushing on and doing the next thing, stop and really look into what that is and what feelings are coming up and, what, and where that comes from. Um, it's not always easy to do, but it's, it's helpful. Yeah, it needs courage. Mm -hmm. It needs courage and... Uh... We both do shadow work, right? We are both um, hypnotherapists, healers, quantum healers, and uh, we help many people. We assist people in healing sessions, energetic sessions, and um, um, I forgot what I wanted to say. That that we need courage. Yes, that they, I'm sorry. That the, the, you need courage to do that. And I, I really honor and admire the people who come to me uh, and say. You know what? I I want to heal myself. I want to look at my shadows. I'm. I want to grow. I want to you know. I want to move on. I want to be honest, open up with myself, and and honestly look at uh, at myself. And uh, yeah, so it's always for me. It's um, every session when I'm doing this, uh, this work is so sacred and it's, it's, you know, I, I honor people so much. I really, I, I really like, um, admire them for their courage to, to open up because you really need to be strong and, and to do this work, to do the shadow work, to look at your dark side. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I'm the same with my clients. I am in awe of their strength and their ability to really view all of themselves. And 
delve into the work with so much trust in the process and in themselves to be able to go there. Um, it's always, and the stories as well, I mean, the stories we listen to of the lifetimes that they've lived and the, <clears throat> the traumas and the, the pain and the suffering that has been experienced and yet they're sitting in front of you willing to accept who they really are and willing to see that finally and um it's 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 incredible it's amazing to see the the transformations that happen right in front of us through this process of being that honest with ourselves um it's inspiring and oh, and, and and so beautiful um and as you say, so sacred. Yeah. Um, and I think sometimes we have the clients as well who they aren't able to they aren't able to open up those parts of themselves yet. They, you know, we have people come to us at all different stages of their process. You know, I'm definitely seeing a wave of more newly awakened people coming who are maybe not quite ready to go really deep into it yet. They're still at that kind of surface level, curious about this work and things like that, but not quite ready to go right in there. And it's our job to, you know, meet them where they are and, and the work will do that as well. Um, the, you know, the, the, the sessions will, will meet them where they are too. And, you know, sometimes for them, it's not what they expect or anticipate. Um, but it's also really beautiful and that it, it does show them where they are and it shows them where they're, what they're not looking at. And that can take courage to accept that as well. <laughs> so, um, it's interesting to see the sort of new, next wave of people who are coming in and yeah. um, and what they're bringing to to the sessions as well. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I love what you say. I also have um, the last months. I think I have these two kind of different types of let's say um, themes or people. The one is the really young ones, uh, eighteen years old. 20, 17, oh my God, incredible, touching, beautiful, like they are connected. They are connected to source. They, they, they know who they are, you know, they just need a little kick and boom. Like it's, I, I cry so much with these people because it's just such a, it gives me so much hope. I get goosebumps. It gives me so much hope to see like 17 years old, um, People like connected to their hearts, uh, connected to their inner wisdom, connected to their, who they are, why they are here, their mission, you know, and they are like very like confident and, and, and they really know why they are here and what they, they want to do with like, you know, like they, they really own it. They really like, you know, and I'm like, wow. Like, you know, I, I wish I was like this when I was 17, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so beautiful. And and then, yeah, I also have a lot of more advanced people, people who are already healers, teachers, uh, and, uh, and, they, and then there's another level, of course. Um, but uh, like you said, I, it's, I think it's, it's a great um, ability and attribute as a, as a helper to be able to find, to meet people where they are. Um, and for that reason, I, I allowed myself to use my sense of humor. Because <laughs> I, I have, a, I, I mean, normally in my everyday life, I'm, you know, I'm like just laughing all the time, making jokes. That's, that's who I am. And I just, you know, um, I don't know. <laughs> and then, so yeah, I, 
I see that when I like this, I love this to blitz through in my in my sessions, and I'm more natural, I'm more myself, you know. And I'm just because sometimes spirituality is like also kind of like so heavy, you know. I see I go to some workshops, and it's like a religion, you know. It's like oh, the guru, and oh, and you have to obey, and you have to be like certain way, and oh, come on, guys, let's just get over this, you know. Like let's just, um, um, you know what I mean? Let's just. Um, uh, adapt it in our how to if i don't even just relax with it just just you know but it, i think you understand what i'm what i'm uh, yeah absolutely <laughs> and i was just i was gonna say there as well that that is one of the main things that's coming through from the higher selves at the moment for for the collective for humanity is lighten up <laughs> lighten up remember joy enjoy your lives enjoy each other enjoy yeah. life and the more you do that the easier all of this gets and i think almost every session that i have facilitated recently has had that thread come through of please just enjoy your lives yeah this is a classic, all time classic, the most common thing I do get since I started this work it, from the higher self. You know, the people are like, they have this sense of, of responsibility of, you know, I'm here to do something, you know, when you newly awaken and okay, maybe I am, what's my mission, whatever. Of course, great question, you know, deep question, fantastic. You know, so how I also woke up, why am I here? You realize why am I here? Boom, you know, my life shifted immediately changed everything but still like <clears throat> there's a, also this that sense of responsibility and then you get heavy and you feel all the weight of the world you know and and whatever and that is and then always in my sessions like you say so common 95 percent the, the higher self would say you're here to have fun you're yeah. here to enjoy you're here to enjoy life enjoy yourself have fun yeah and it's like Oh, <laughs> yeah. Really? <laughs> Can I? <laughs> because you, you think about the what happens when you laugh, what happens to your body when you laugh, what happens to the room when a room full of people are laughing together. The energy that comes through that joy and that laughter is so healing because not only are you beaming with with joy on your face there's a release that comes through the laughter and that's it's so healing <laughs> it's yeah i've got a friend who's a comedian and and we often get together and just have sort of one of these you know online chats like this and after i've spoken to him for a couple of hours it's just like wow i'm in such a good place <laughs> i'm in such a good place and it, yeah people i mean a lot of the things that have been going on and still are going on in our world are serious things for sure but to sort of walk through this life in that state of joy is palpable and it is it has ripple effects and it has waves that rub off on others and yeah, it's just something that that comes up almost every session. It's just mm -hmm. enjoy, be happy. Um, Happiness. You picked up that card for us today. Did. You I want did. to show it? Interesting. Did. Happiness. Yes. It's from the Journey of the Soul deck. Um, I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Oh, wow. I get goosebumps. <laughs> this is the antidote. Joy. And my name is Hara, in, it's a Greek name, it means yeah. joy in Greece. Oh, in Greek, in, sorry, in Greek, yes. And, and it's funny, you know, like, I'm, I'm, like, you know, when I really newly awaken, I thought, ah, oh, yeah, okay, <clears throat> I'm here to heal, I'm here to awaken people, blah, blah. But then, when I dived a little bit deeper <laughs> into my own wisdom and, and, and you know, uh, understanding who I am, why am I here? Uh, it was, you're here to 
to be who you are. You are named Joy for a reason. Spread this to the, to the world and, and, and enjoy it. And that's all. Nothing, nothing else. Regardless, it doesn't matter what you do. Just if you do that, that's, that's all. And it's so uh, exhilarating, how you say it. It's so like, ooh, and it's really the antidote for what is happening, especially right now. I mean, I don't know, we came out of, did we really? I don't even know if we really got out of this pandemic situation. Um, you and now they're already, <laughs> like, they're already like, you know, like um, planting us seeds for second, third world war. And it's like, you know, last night I was crying. I just, it, because um, they say in, the, in Germany here, they announced yesterday that we should um, uh, start uh, preparing for war and uh, getting food for 20, for 10, 20 days. And they are going to reactivate the shelters and, in Germany, anyway, I don't want to go more into this, and I, it freaked me out, you know, and I was start, and I started crying for a second, and I went into fear, complete fear, you know, and paranoia, and, and anger, and like desperation, and like, oh, fuck, why am I here? Like, I, you know, if it's this, if that's the, I don't want to be here if that's the case, you know, I'm not, they did the humanity didn't learn yet, you know, I mean, come on, guys, like, please get it, you know, please, 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 like, and then. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm sharing this. It's, and then I, you know, I, I was thinking of, um, I envisioned our, our, our minister, our prime minister here in Germany, and also like uh, the president of, of Russia, Putin. And I was um, imagining that um, I'm sending love into their hearts, you know, to, because we have to grow. We ha I mean, come on. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, 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 nobody wants war. Nobody no. sane wants war. <laughs> nobody. Exactly. That's what I was saying to, this morning with my partner because I was saying, you know, I read this hilarious um, uh, headline in the news yesterday from the Prime Minister here in Germany saying that uh, uh, Putin's war is an assault to our democracy. And I was like, which democracy anyway? And then what are you doing about this? You're just sending heavy weapons to Ukraine anyway. I don't want to go into political stuff, but um, I just wanted to say that I, I what, like you said, I was thinking like, there's no democracy anyway. Did you ask the, the people of this, of this uh, country if they want to go uh, into war? And I'm, I'm 99.999% that the people here would say no. We don't want that. We want peace. Yeah. Yeah, because we're of a, we're of a totally different mindset now. We have evolved to, to a point where war makes absolutely no sense to yeah. most people. <laughs> it's only these projections of um, these so-called leaders and their... their um, their inversion of reality and them projecting that onto us. But it's not actually our reality. And, and just sort of going back to the joy, joy is our natural state. It's, yes. and it's so funny because we're so not used to feeling that. Yes. You know, when we have a moment where we're, we laugh so much, we start crying. And then, it, and then it kind of gets a little bit uncontrollable to the point where you kind of don't know whether you're emotional or whether you're just laughing. Yes. And then some people actually start to fear that because they don't know what it is. That's joy. <laughs> where you're laughing so much, there's tears streaming down your face. And you, you just can't stop. And that's where we're supposed to be all the time. <laughs> That was, you know, whenever I've had sessions where clients have gone to like Lemuria or mm -hmm. um, any of these really high vibrational places, that's, that's how they lived. They lived in that state of joy all the time. Yeah. And that's, that's where, where we can be and we're supposed to be. 
but we've we've been so conditioned out of it we can't even recognize it when it's there when we're, we're having that to the point where we almost fear it because we we're so not used to it it's that's kind of fascinating to me that we've gone so completely the opposite way that that we can almost not recognize it when it's when we're in that state and this is what the um, first of all i love i love the, what you said that joy is a natural state i think it would be great to make title as we were looking for a title for this video yeah. <laughs> <It's, Yes. laughs> I, <love> it. <laughs> I, I totally resonate with every single word you say even between the words uh, the space between the words um, and what I immediately thought when you when you said that was, I mean, look at the children. They, you know, before they get contaminated and indoctrinated into the society and their religions and their science and I don't know what uh, educational systems and all of these things, uh, they have pure joy. They just wanna, they just wanna play. And and ah yes, I think I was in a session um that came up, someone was um, in a more advanced civilization and they were saying that um, actually they allow kids to play for many years, much longer than we allow our kids because what we do to them, that we put them in school at five years old, you know, like a soldier, and we really like dump them down and dump, dump down their their natural state of being, which is joy, creativity, playfulness, you know, they don't, they don't, need to learn from so early or they need to learn but in a different way right more, more intuitive more uh, through play yes through play. we have yeah it's 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 a huge it's a huge one and uh, i'm glad it, it came up because uh also how tell me about what do you think about that in our society sometimes if you are too funny or happy or giggling or you're not being taken seriously, you're not serious enough or you're not professional enough or I don't know what. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then look at, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm looking, there are some um, teachers out there which I really admire and follow and I learn a lot from them like Eckhart Tolle or like, um, yeah, like an example. and. And this guy, he just makes me laugh all the time. And that's the thing, the lightness. Yeah. Enlightened, right? What is enlightenment? Is to be in the light. And lightness is lightness. Being light, not heavy. It's yeah. joy. Yeah. Yeah. And that <laughs> release that comes with with laughter. The the I always I always think about um when a client comes out of a session, I would love to have like a professional camera <laughs> to take a picture of their faces, those moments right after, like the first hour after their session. I'd love to do like a series of photo shoots <laughs> of clients after their session, because exactly what you're talking about, that lightness of being, that that joy, it's, it's, it's on their faces it's so beautiful to see the shift that occurs so rapidly from when they come to the session to when they leave um and how beautiful that is to to see to see those those smiles and the the light on their face and the that lightness of being just oozing out of them <laughs> as they go on their way it's um yeah, it's incredible. It's a beautiful thing. I had a session two weeks ago with a woman online, BQA, Beyond Quantum Healing BQA session. Mm. And uh, what you said happened, uh, manifested, mm. and, and, you know, uh, so she had an incredibly powerful mm. healing uh, during the session, uh, which I was not prepared for because it was the, the most, let's say, dense healing that occurred she had to even vomit for 
quite some time to take everything out. The higher self said that she cleaned uh, debris from uh, uh, past many past lives from thousands of past lives where there was like trauma and everything so it was quite um, gross anyway um she wrote me uh, an email the day after the session and she told me that she went to her parents and they said to her what did you do you look different mm -hmm. Yeah, it's beautiful when that confirmation comes from yeah someone else. I knew it. I knew it. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell her after after the session. I I knew it. I I I didn't know how it would manifest. You know, of course, and and if she's gonna be able to to see it um, immediately or gradually, because sometimes the change can be gradual. Uh, so yeah. you, know, you don't really. It's not a like. A, very obvious thing in the beginning, but I knew in my heart, you know, because I have done many circles and I have, you know, now I can sense, you know, a few certain things. And I knew in my heart that this was a massive shift for her. And it was beautiful, like you said, of course, to get the confirmation that it actually even manifested in her face. <laughs> yeah. 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 So, so you know. wonderful. Mm -hmm. I had a, I have a, a mentorship client I've been working with and um, she calls it finding her treasure. Each session there's a piece of treasure that we find, the, um, a soul aspect, a shat fragment of her whole self that we find within the session. And the first session, it was her joy. Um, her joy had been left in a cave but she she'd left that part of herself in a cave and it'd been there for so long and we were allowed to reunite her with that part of herself the second session it was her confidence and her abilities and her took her into a lifetime where she was an apprentice learning about uh, grid work and energy manipulation through grid work and um they showed her the confidence she had within that life and they showed her to the point where it just seeped in through every cell and wow. completely reworked merged with her and the third session they showered her with budding flowers mm. they just put all of these flowers inside her and they said that over the next little while these flowers would open up and they would just be other parts of her that just re-enter. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's so lovely. <laughs> As, and they will just open up over time and it will just be all of these little aspects of her that she's just able to re-merge with. And it was just like, wow. Wow. <laughs> How beautiful is that? To, yeah. What a gift, yeah. yeah. And I'm being reminded of, uh, there's one reason I love elementals and I, I did a series connecting with different ones uh, and because especially fairies and uh, I claim all of them, but um, yeah, they are the gate, they are the, 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 the keepers of the, the earth keepers. Uh, oh. And they're here even before us, before human human beings the elementals were first and they're still here they are a bit withdrawn now because okay we look a little bit violent <laughs> they're a bit afraid of us but there's just there's just pure joy and it's just so incredibly amazing and beautiful yeah. to connect with these beings um yeah fairies pixies yeah all of them, all of them. and they, they do carry so much joy fairies are always giggling <laughs> yeah <laughs> And I feel like the reason why we can't see them is because we we came into a denser vibration. We're not in the same vibrational frequency as them, so therefore we can't see them anymore. Yeah. But we can still feel them. Like when we're in the woods or the forest, we can still feel their energy around. There's, there's, because we are so connected to them, because many of us have had 
lifetimes as these beings or have aspects of ourselves living as these beings. Um, so it's interesting how we are in the physical realm, so separate from them, but still very, very connected and interconnected to them. Um, yeah. Such beautiful energy. Oh my God. Yeah, I have a story to say about, or just to tell about this. Yeah. I was once in France uh, in an amazing forest with uh, tree houses and mushrooms. It was, I don't remember, probably if there were mushrooms, I guess it was autumn, early autumn. Um, and it was just so beautiful and I love nature. I'm like, I become a child, like five-year-old, like forget about intellectual hara. It's just like playing and having fun and totally stupid childlike. And, and so I was shopping around, enjoying, you know, looking at all these beautiful flowers, trees, blah, blah. Um, we had a very good time. We came, we came back to Berlin where we are, where I'm based. And then I think it was one two days later. I had a session, a seatsu session with a Japanese uh, master, amazing woman, uh, very also very psychic, very sensitive energy. And uh, she's doing wonderful seatsu sessions with uh, singing balls. Also, that she's placing on your on your body and playing with them. Super amazing treatment. So she came for the to give me a session. And she, before we start, she was just sitting in the room and she, she just started like, I, I see her just doing this. And then she was like, ha, 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 <laughs> And then I was like, um, Masao, are you okay? <laughs> Is everything all right? <laughs> you know, she's like, yeah, yeah, um, I'm just, I just, um, yeah, there are all these fairies here in this room. Um, where have you been to the forest lately? <laughs> and I'm like, yes, I just came back. It's like they followed you because Aww. they liked your energy and they just and they just followed you and they are here in your room. All are, like I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> yeah. That's so beautiful. Um, I make a fairy garden every year for my daughter in the spring. We have two trees at the back of our garden. and um, Every year I sort of add little bits and pieces to it, like a door or, you know, I make a little ladder or a washing line or whatever. Um, and I just add to it every year. And it's my little ritual for welcoming in the elementals into our space and um, just letting them know that this is a, this is a very positive area. <laughs> they're allowed to, they're allowed to, very friendly. they're allowed to here. They're allowed to, you know, they're allowed to come here. And it's fun for Marnie, but it's so much fun for me too. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> it's, um, nice. Yeah, just letting them know we're right on the edge of a forest as well, a woodland, and um, yeah, I don't think they get a huge amount of acknowledgement from people here, so I like to do that every year so that they know that we are pro fairy. <laughs> <laughs> we are not anti fairy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm also being so so now the dolphins. Oh yeah, yeah, and they're so beautiful. Yeah, such beautiful beings. Yeah, when I was um, oh gosh, how old was I? I was about seventeen or eighteen. Um, I was in the Caribbean and. Uh, I got the opportunity to swim with with dolphins, and um, it was one. It was really just one of the most magical things I'd ever done. Um, I I mean, I I, I can't even. If I if I'd known what I know now about dolphins and had that experience, it would have been a very I don't know if it would have been a different experience, but this one dolphin, this young male, really latched onto me. And um, he 
just wanted me to play and he kept on coming up to the surface and tapping his head on the surface wanting me to go down with him and dive with him which I did but obviously I don't breathe under there so I can't go down for that long so I kept having to go up every time I went up he was like no come back down I want to swim with you I want to play with you (laughs) and it yeah it's just a it's a beautiful thing when you connect with their their energy and what they can um what they can do just even like the touch of their skin and how that feels on your skin and the power of the body that they have but the, the yeah they're they're just amazing amazing beings and they i think they are they say that they come from Sirius with the words yeah yeah they came here to to help <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and they do they're such um fascinating creatures that we don't fully understand um, yet i think we don't have the capacity to understand oh. them they are very advanced yeah they could be the most advanced creatures on the planet no yeah i mean the whales yeah absolutely there's something so almost um like royalty about them there's so there's something you know mm. so advanced in a way they're like um i don't know that i do there's the english language is so limiting sometimes <laughs> um yeah they're just incredibly powerful and uh, more powerful than we can really decipher um, yeah, I have this um, phrase in my in my head because I connected with them. I, I have been a dolphin, I think, on Earth and on Sirius. Uh, so I have a, a very strong connection, which is very emotional for me. Even to think about dolphins, I, I want to cry. So I try to stay <laughs> calm, <laughs> not to connect mm-hmm. with them. <laughs> at least now but uh, I remember this phrase I just wanted to share to share because it's beautiful um, I connected with them and, and they say they say to me play dolphin play mm-hmm. beautiful <laughs> yeah it's so beautiful it's uh, yeah I love I love all this um the sharing and um, connecting and getting to know you as well because yeah I mean yeah. I, I don't I just I know your energy and I know from mm-hmm. online you know your presence but um, but yeah this is a, such a joy and such an honor to get to get to know you and through these connections um, I'm excited to to do this and to to delve deeper and yeah share like this it's really beautiful and it feels natural and it feels um, um, it flows just naturally like water it's, it's beautiful <laughs> yeah. yeah good do we have a closing message maybe for people who are watching oh let me see closing message Mm. yeah I think it, the only thing I'm really getting is that that thinking about all the things that we've covered today um, the if I'm looking at the, the cards that I pulled as well the The, the healing that comes through the the pain and suffering that we've all gone through and are all going through ultimately leads to our our joy and our happiness and um, this is another opportunity for us to really shift into 
a, a space where we can co-create and um, live as we're meant to live and um, as we as we can live um, and I think yeah this is the time where we're really feeling that shift happening all around us so I think that's my final beautiful thank you <laughs> what about you <laughs> Um, I have nothing specific to say rather than uh, it is a great honor to, to be here with you, to share with you and uh, I think a new, a new tale has uh, just started, a new beautiful journey uh, of exploration and sharing. Um, we are welcoming comments and suggestions. Uh, so feel free to uh, comment below our videos and ask questions, maybe suggest themes you would like us to explore and discuss. And we are open to uh, interacting with you and that's why we do it. Uh, yeah. It's just about sharing. Uh, <laughs> there's no money. It's just pure joy and connecting. And um, yeah. I love you, Nino. Thank you so much for doing this with me. It's, uh, oh, I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. I feel the same. <laughs> uh, it filled my heart with joy. I hope um, the same for whoever is watching us. Um, yeah, and uh, we will see us in the next video. <laughs> Thank you, Hara. <laughs> Thank you.